This is Joe Ports with PC Attack, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of my um, brand new Pox processor, the i7-5960X. This processor has 8 cores and 16 logical threads. The processor that this will be replacing is my um, 5930K. I had it before. Uh, someone wanted to uh, purchase that from me because it was actually one of the, uh, the good processor bin batches. What I had was I was able to overclock that to a, um, a 4.7. And um, I, someone wanted to purchase it. And I said, you know what, now it's just the perfect time to go ahead and actually give this 8-core a try to actually help reduce my rendering time from when I'm actually doing videos or any type of editing there. So without further ado, on to the unboxing. As you can see right here, I live by a micro center. So I was actually able to procure this from Micro Center here. So um, that's where I purchased it from because I didn't feel like waiting or um, going through the rigmarole of actually ordering online and paying actually more money. It's cheaper to buy this at Micro Center if you buy a local Micro Center. So let's try to get this open here. Try not to do too much damage to this box because if I do sell it, I like to actually give away the box with it and as best condition as I possibly can. So here we are, got that off pretty cleanly. Let's get this open. As you can see right here, another piece of cardboard. It's nothing important. Here's the booklet to the i7 processor. This is taped up also. And right here is McAfee, McAfee uh, Live Safe. Guess it's about their security system. Not going to need that at all. Here's the back of the processor, as you can see right there. And here's the front of it. So you guys can actually see it right there. It says i75960X by Intel. What I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to do a few benchmarks. Of this processor I'm gonna start off with uh, I'm gonna start off with a, a base clock run of Cinebench R11.5 and R15 I'm actually gonna see how long uh, what kind of score I'm gonna get I'm also gonna render a 4k video it's probably gonna be like a three to four minute video I'm gonna actually look at render times I'm gonna compare it and when I'm doing the Cinebench course you are gonna you are gonna see my other processors I own for that's in the bench of 4770K, and I also own the 5930K, as I said previously. So it's actually going to compare to that. As of right now, I still do own a CPU with the um, 4770K installed in it. So if I need to do any further tests of comparison, I can. And um, I will be overclocking this to see actually how far it would go. But after I do overclock it to see how far it could go, I'm going to do a few other tests with it. To try to get as close to real time as possible. I may end up down clocking it to around a 4.3 to 4.5 if it goes over that because that's all I'm going to need for uh, my rendering and I don't want to you know, cause too much thermal issues there because going past that I may start to go over the voltage threshold which I like to keep around 1.3 volts. So if you guys have any questions or want to see anything else covered in the video like gameplay or anything like that just leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.